Good morning, students! Here I am again, your teacher in Halle 4, Teacher Eileen. Today, we are discussing about lettering. Again, lettering. Very good. With the learning content, differentiate the methods of lettering, distinguish the classifications of letter style, and recognize the different tools for lettering. We have also the performance standard, recognize the use of lettering, and create a masterpiece in lettering. Without further ado, let's start. Remember when you were younger, you used to create letter cards for your parents, siblings, relatives, and friends whenever there is an occasion such as birthday, Christmas, Mother's Day, and Father's Day. Your letter card is usually composed of hand-drawn illustrations and a simple handwritten message. Are you still making them today? This topic talks about lettering. Before anything else, let's define first. Lettering uses different styles in writing letters, numbers, and other characters to form an artistic work of art. The output shows uniformity and preciseness in forming letters. Since you already know the definition of lettering, let's have the methods of lettering. A person who can make lettering legibly is called a drafter. Either he or she uses freehand guide tools in lettering such as ruler. The following enumerates the methods of lettering. First, freehand lettering. Forms letters, numbers, and other characters without using any guide tools in lettering. This is an example of a freehand lettering. Second, the mechanical lettering. It is done with the aid of guide tools and templates in lettering, such as ruler or a tracer. This is an example of a mechanical lettering. It composed of measurements while you are doing the lettering. Next, we have the modern drawing. It uses computer-aided software in lettering, such as Photoshop and other editor application, which can be seen in your laptop or in your mobile phone. This time, we will proceed to the four classifications of letter styles. With constant practice, a person like you can draw different letter styles without using any guide tools. Here are the four classifications of letter style. First things first, Gothic style letter. Having uniform with which makes this letter style and easiest to do. This is a good practice for beginners like you. So here is an example of a coat using the gothic style letter. Next, we have Roman style letter. Have thin and thick lines and serifs. Look at the Times Roman letter font. The small decorative line or excess line in the main letter line creates an accent to the letter. This is called serif. And this is also an example of a code using Roman style letter or font. Third, textile letter. Are also known as old English letters. This is an elaborate form of the letter style and is commonly seen in diplomas and certificates. Just like this example, a 
code using the textile font letter. Fourth, we have the italic style letter. Italic style letter or slanted letters. Just like the example, a code using the italic style letter. For this juncture, we are discussing about the tools and materials used in lettering. To make accurate lettering, the following tools and materials are needed. Number 1. HB Pencil Used for making temporary lines. A drafter can use technical pencil to finalize the lettering. Number 2. The Rubber Eraser It is used to undo the markings created or delete the unwanted marks. Number three, we have pen pencil sharpener. It is used to sharpen the pencil and to create thinner lines. Or pen. It is used for permanent markings. There are different pens and pen, thickness depending on the use. Number 5, Ruler. It is used in creating guidelines or grid lines for lettering. Number 6, Drawing Paper. Is where the drafter makes the lettering. Oslo paper is a good example of this. Number 7, Divided. It is literally used to divide the lines into equal segments. It is also used for transferring measurements. Not the least, the coloring materials. Coloring materials such as colored pencils, crayons, and watercolor are used for designing. It is also used to enhance the quality of your drawing or lettering. Let's be productive. Since we already know the definition of lettering, the methods of lettering, and the tools used for lettering or designing, kindly do this activity. In a one whole band paper, create an artistic lettering using your most favorite life code. At the back of it, just answer this question. What is the use of lettering? And explain. I know that you are excited to do your work. You may now start. Good luck! We are done with our topic. Hopefully, you learned something about lettering. I am your teacher, Teacher Eileen, saying thank you for listening and goodbye!